Sounding the Alarm on the Amhara Genocide at the UN by Thierry Valle. Welcome to Ethiopia Insight. Welcome to Ethiopia Insight. As the world grapples with news of the ongoing crisis in Ethiopia, international bodies and human rights organizations are stepping up to amplify the plight of the Amhara people. In a significant move, the Coordination des Associations et des Particuliers pour la Liberté de Conscience, alongside Human Rights Without Frontiers, he has taken a bold step forward by addressing the United Nations Human Rights Council. Their advocacy shines a crucial spotlight on the dire situation facing the Amhara, urging the international community to take immediate action. In September 2021, the coalition delivered a compelling oral statement at the 48th session of the UN Human Rights Council, highlighting the severe instances of ethnic-based violence and systemic discrimination. They labeled the situation as ethnic cleansing and genocide, a stark description that seeks to shake the global community out of complacency. This urgent call for an independent international investigation into the atrocities aims to ensure that those responsible are held accountable. The efforts of these organizations are a beacon of hope for the Amhara people, representing a vital push towards global awareness and action. As they continue to work tirelessly, advocating for urgent intervention, their actions remind us of the power of international solidarity in confronting human rights violations. The fate of the Amhara hangs in the balance, and the response of the global community will be a testament to our collective commitment to justice and human dignity. In the months that followed, we continued to sound the alarm, submitting written statements to the 49th, 50th, and 51st sessions of the Human Rights Council. These statements documented the massacres of Amhara civilians in both war and non-war zones, the arbitrary arrests and detention of Amhara journalists and activists, and the escalating humanitarian crisis in the Amhara region. Our collaboration with Yodith Gideon and Stop Amhara Genocide has been crucial in gathering the evidence and testimonies needed to substantiate our claims. Together, we have meticulously documented the atrocities, including the June 2022 massacre of over 300 Amhara civilians in the Gimbi region. We have also worked closely with other human rights organizations, such as Human Rights Without Frontiers, to ensure that our reports and submissions to the UN carry the weight of multiple credible sources. In March 2022, we took our advocacy to the 49th session of the Human Rights Council, delivering a statement that painted a harrowing picture of the ongoing massacres of Amhara civilians in war and non-war zones. We urged the Council to take immediate action to protect the Amhara people and to ensure that the perpetrators of these crimes are held accountable. Our efforts continued unabated throughout 2023, as the situation in Ethiopia only grew more dire. In April, we submitted a written statement to the 52nd session of the Human Rights Council, highlighting the arbitrary arrest and detention of journalists and activists who were reporting on the persecution of the Amhara community. We called on the Council to take concrete steps to address this alarming trend and to ensure the protection of human rights defenders. In June 2023, we issued a desperate appeal for urgent action to stop the ongoing violence, ethnic cleansing, and genocide against the Amhara people of Ethiopia. This appeal, co-signed by Yodith Gideon and other human rights organizations, painted a bleak picture of the situation on the ground, with the Amhara people facing systematic attacks, displacement, and the destruction of their homes and livelihoods. Our efforts at the UN continued unabated throughout the year, with statements and appeals delivered at the 53rd 54th, and 55th sessions of the Human Rights Council. In September 2023, our written statement to the 54th session made an urgent appeal to address escalating human rights violations and crisis in Amhara, Ethiopia, calling for immediate action to protect the Amhara people and to ensure the delivery of humanitarian aid to the affected regions. Most recently, in March 2024, we delivered a verbal statement at the 55th session of the Human Rights Council, drawing attention to the drone attacks on Amhara and escalating humanitarian crisis. We urged the Council to take immediate action to investigate these attacks and to ensure the protection of civilian lives. Throughout this entire process, we have worked closely with Stop Amhara Genocide and Human Rights Without Frontiers to ensure that the international community is fully aware of the unfolding genocide and the urgent need for intervention. 
Our collaboration has been crucial in amplifying the voices of the Amhara people and in keeping the spotlight on this devastating crisis. As we approach the 47th session of the Universal Periodic Review of the UN Human Rights Council in November 2024, we are once again preparing to make our voices heard. We will be submitting a comprehensive report on the human rights situation in Ethiopia with a particular focus on the ongoing genocide against the Amhara people. We will be calling on the international community to take immediate and concrete action to stop the violence, protect the Amhara population, and ensure accountability for the perpetrators of these heinous crimes. In response to the targeted attacks on Ethiopian Orthodox churches, our initiatives to address them are actively ongoing. We are engaged in efforts to address this grave concern in collaboration with the international community, particularly those working on promoting religious freedom. Moreover, as part of our commitment to these efforts, we are actively supporting the report submitted by the Jubilee Campaign to the Universal Periodic Review, shedding light on the alarming trend of church attacks and advocating for meaningful action to protect religious sites and communities. Furthermore, as we speak, we are carrying out other initiatives aimed at addressing this issue comprehensively to safeguard the Ethiopian Orthodox Church and preserve the rich cultural and religious heritage of the Amhara people and all Ethiopians. The road ahead is long and the challenges are daunting, but we remain steadfast in our commitment to justice and the protection of human rights. We will continue to work tirelessly in collaboration with our partners to ensure that the world does not turn a blind eye to the unfolding tragedy in Ethiopia. The Amhara people deserve nothing less than our unwavering support and our relentless pursuit of the truth. Thierry Valle is president of the Coordination des Associations et des Particulars pour la Liberté de Conscience. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.